You will learn in this Lightboard session how to secure access to Azure Container Apps using Azure Application Gateway and HTTPS encrypted traffic. Deploying an Azure Container Apps into a customer virtual network means that here we would have a virtual network that is customer-owned virtual network. Within this virtual network, we would have a subnet, one or multiple subnets actually, but we would have a subnet for our Container Apps applications and into this subnet, it will be uh, we would go to inject our container apps. So we would have here one container app, for example, let's call it ACA for Azure Container Apps App 1, for example. And we might have also another container apps, we we'll call it App 2. For each application, it would have its own private IP address and it would have also its own FQDN. Then typically we would have the Envoy proxy that sits somewhere within my environment that will go to route the traffic to these different applications based on a configuration. Now when we deploy an Azure Container Apps, we would have two options, whether to choose the internal or the external mode. External mode means that I want to uh, expose through a public endpoint my Azure Container Apps through a public IP address and through a public Azure Load Balancer. Internal mode, however, means that I want to isolate and I want to secure this container apps within the context of its subnet and within the context of this virtual network. For that, it will not create a public endpoint, but it will only create an internal load balancer that will expose those applications through an, an internal or, or through a private IP address. So we would have here an internal Azure load balancer. Let's call it ILB for internal load balancer. This load balancer actually will go to, to expose a private IP address within the subnet. And through there, it will go to route the traffic to the container apps. This will be considered as the static IP address for the container apps environment that will be used for the ingress traffic. For the egress traffic or the outbound traffic, it will be using, by default with this configuration, it will be using Microsoft provided uh, public IP addresses. However, of course, it's recommended here either to egress through uh, an Azure firewall, network virtual appliance, MVA, or to use a NAT gateway that is attached to the subnet. So now this IP address is a private IP address. It means that it's, I can access it only within the virtual network. So we need to use a service that can access this IP address and it can also expose those container apps to my end users through a public endpoint or through a public IP address. In Azure, those services could be either Azure API Management or Front Door or Azure Application Gateway. In this slide for session, we'll explore the Azure Application Gateway. The Application Gateway would have its own subnet and it will sit inside its own subnet right here and it would be exposed through a public IP address. Now for the application gateway to be able to reach this private IP address for this internal load balancer, it will need to configure its backend settings. So we would have here a configuration within application gateway that is called backend uh, settings. Within the backend settings, we just configure it to point to the FQDN for the Azure Container Apps let's say for app one, for example. So when you put that FQDN, it means that Azure Application Gateway will try to reach that FQDN, and hopefully that FQDN will route the traffic to that uh, IP address. But this is not the case, actually. Here we need to be aware of some interesting points about container apps. In internal mode, container apps actually does not provide any default DNS uh, resolution. There is no public endpoint and the static IP address for the uh, container apps environment is the same as the internal load balancer IP address. This one is very interesting. This means that the application gateway cannot use that FQDN of the Azure container apps to reach the container apps. So to resolve that issue, it's pretty simple. We'll just provide our own DNS resolution. So for that, we can actually just attach a DNS zone or a private DNS zone within Azure. And within this private DNS zone, we'll configure it to map the FQDN of the container apps to the internal load balancer IP address. So this way, the application gateway will be able 
to reach the private IP address of the internal load balancer and the traffic will reach. Great! So now my container apps is accessible through a public IP address that will access a publicly exposed application gateway that is injected into the virtual network that will be able to access the container apps. But my user here will be using a public IP address. Of course, in terms of user experience, I don't want that. I want to use my own custom domain name. I want to have a custom domain name, something like mycompany.com that will map to that uh, public IP address. So my user will connect to this custom uh, domain name using his browser or his applications. Now to have this custom domain name, either you purchase it outside of Azure or you can also purchase it within the Azure subscription. So in Azure, if you use Azure App Service Domain, you will be able to purchase custom domain names with .com within the Azure portal. That's the partnership between Azure and uh, GoDaddy to provide and purchase those custom domain names. In addition to that, in order to manage that custom domain name, then you can use an Azure public DNS zone. With that DNS zone, you'll be able to provide subdomains or manage the domain in order to point to a specific IP address, for example. Great. Now, here I want my user to be able to use not HTTP, but I want it to be able to use HTTPS for encrypted and for more secure traffic. With HTTPS means that I need to provide a TLS certificate for my custom domain name and I need to configure that TLS certificate within the application gateway. So within the application gateway, I can go there and I can go to upload a TLS uh, certificate if I create it myself. Or what I can do also is that I can rely on Azure Key Vault in order to generate a self-signed TLS certificate or create my own uh, certificate and upload it or import it to a Key Vault. The TLS certificate in any way it will be stored securely within a Key Vault. After that, you can go to configure the application gateway to go to connect to that Azure Key Vault to retrieve the TLS certificate and this could be done using a managed identity. So this means with this architecture now, my user will connect on HTTPS on that custom domain name. He will get routed to the Azure application gateway through the public IP address of the app gateway and then using the backend settings for the application uh, gateway, the traffic will be routed to the FQDN of the Azure Container Apps application one, for example, where there it will be received by the Envoy and by the internal load balancer that will check the FQDN. If it's the one that is for Container Apps number one, then it will route the traffic right there. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.